Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Howl, the off-season sessions. For the first time in 17 years, we got an expansion draft on our hands. The first one I'm really conscious of, the first one I'm going to actually live around and witness a team expand. The last one was in the year 2000, I was about 7 or 8 years old. No idea when expansion draft was, just... These three new teams showed up out of nowhere. So let's jump right into it. Arizona Coyotes fans, I know you guys are worried about who the team's going to lose, but you shouldn't fret. The Coyotes are in great position. Basically, all their good players are protected. Um, let's go down the list of who's protected. You got Domi, Kraus, Dvorak, Keller, Strom, D'Angelo, Chikrin, so we, we good. We good for our young talent being protected. The Coyotes have to expose at least two players to Vegas. Vegas can only take one player from each team. So let's start with the forwards. Like I said, all those good players are protected. Who the Coyotes are going to protect so Vegas can't take. They're going to go with the four forwards format and protect. Um, Tobias Reeder, Anthony Duclair, Jordan Martinuk, and uh, may and probably Alexander Bermistrov. He had a lot of good chemistry late in the season with Domi and Duclair, and he could be a good depth skilled centerman, which the Coyotes don't have much of these days compared to when they started last year. So on the forwards front, you could expect them to expose McGinn. And Richardson, worst case scenario on the forwards front is Vegas takes Richardson. But I doubt they do that since Richardson had a broken leg for like six or seven months last season. So that's kind of a risk. Best case scenario is they take McGinn, who had an awful start to his contract. Um, they didn't put up big numbers like he used to. He, he always used to put up 20 plus goals, whatever team he was on, whether it be Buffalo or the Ducks, but for the Coyotes, he struggled. And hopefully Vegas takes him and that contract off the Coyotes' hands. That would be some good news. On the defensive front, it's more a clear cut what the Coyotes are going to do. They're going to protect four defensemen, OEL. Goligoski has a no-movement clause, so he's automatically protected. Uh, Murphy and Shen... They're going to protect, leaving exposed Kevin Kanaden. Not a huge deal. Kanaden is basically a younger version of Shen, but didn't really play much for the Coyotes last year. Kept getting scratched and whatnot in favor of Chikrin, D'Angelo, and Shen. Um, so if the Coyotes lose him, no big deal. They got a lot of defensemen in the pipeline. Maybe Kyle Wood. Gets a chance on the big team. McBain put up some pretty good numbers in A. So um, defense, it's pretty clear cut. It's either they protect Shen and lose Kanaden or protect Kanaden and lose Shen. Really up to John Shika at that point. Going to the goalies, they only could protect one. Bit of a gamble here, but you're going to assume Shika protects Mike Smith leaving Domingue exposed. But remember, Vegas can only take one player from each team. I doubt they take Domingue. They, they have so many other goalies to choose from. They got Grubauer, um, Ranta from um, the Rangers. They got a lot of goalies to choose from. I doubt Domingue is on their radar, especially last season. His numbers weren't that great to start. He finished well, but... When the Coyotes needed him the most, when Mike Smith got hurt, he, he wasn't up to task. So I doubt Vegas really takes him. Mike Smith, on the other hand, huge contract. Um, and he's our starting goalie for next year. I mean, you got to protect him. The Coyotes going into the season with Deming as their starter. Not going to not gonna be good. We need Smith for at least one more year. And Smith, honestly, man, he hasn't been bad. Like, he shows up to every game and gives the Coyotes a chance to win every game. Except for when he gets injured, the Coyotes kind of suck. So, uh, they need Smith. 
then it'd be a good idea to protect Mike Smith. Pretty much that's it. Like I said, Sunday, the Coyotes will release their list. Um, as far as Verbata and Doan, those are UFAs, which the Coyotes... Um, won't protect, but you could bet that Verbata and Dome, if they do sign to an NHL team, it's going to be the Coyotes. Verbata has explicitly said that he wants to return to the Coyotes. And if Shane Doan returns, he's going to return for the Coyotes. He had a chance at the deadline, numerous deadlines to go to other teams, but he chose to stay with his home team. So they don't need a waste protection on Verbata and Doan. They know that they both want to play with the Coyotes if they choose to play in the NHL. So that gives them some breathing room to protect other RFAs like Duclair and Burmistroff and Martinuk. Vegas can still talk to them, I think, this week, to those restricted free agents this weekend. But if the Coyotes choose to protect them, Vegas can talk to them. And um, you'll look to see Shaika sign Martinuk Duclair this offseason. Thankfully, with Duclair's terrible season, um, we could sign him for cheap. I mean, that's good news. Get Duclair maybe one, one and a half mil for a couple of years and see where Duclair is at at the end of, of that term. I'm pretty sure Duclair is going to go back to the way he was. Whole, Tippett's going to put Duclair and Domi together. They were clicking near the end of the last season. And Martinuk, he's a really good depth guy. He plays every role, penalty kill, could do face-offs, you know, hard minutes, grinding out some key goals. So they'll sign him for under two mil for a couple years as well. So not a lot of big contract talks up for the Coyotes. You know, next year it's going to be Domi. And uh, the thing two years from now, OEL. So that's when you get into the big contracts. But um, yeah, hopefully Domi has a great season and gets a big contract. That means the Coyotes are going to have a successful season if Domi has a successful year. And um, that's it for me. The draft is coming up in uh, three weeks. Like I said in another video, I'll be there live. I'll do a draft video before and after who the Coyotes going to draft. It's a very interesting draft this year. There's no really big talent, but there's a lot of um, sleeper hits that will go under the radar. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And like always, thank you for your support.